There is a computer with a Celeron N5105 processor, modern but weak. FPS in this game was increased by 5, which is 33%. RAM was increased by almost 2 GB. How I did it? There is nothing complicated, just a special program that I made myself, or you can do the same manually. Now I will show you step by step how to speed up Windows and test the results. I will speed up this mini PC. It has a separate review and costs a little over $100, but it will cope with almost any study of work tasks. There is an 11th generation Celeron N5105 processor, 8GB of RAM and SSD disk. I ran some tests right after installing Windows 11 and will show the results a little later to compare with what happens after the optimization. So far you can see how the desktop looked like before it. I didn't do anything complicated because I already have my own program PC and P Assistant, I have already made several videos about it while it was being created. They didn't collect many views, but in vain. So if you haven't seen it, go to description of this video, there are links. Download the program from the official site, I show my language version and English version also supported. Launch the installer. A new program doesn't have a digital subscription, it is quite expensive for me, so there are such messages that it is not sure about the security of the file. Assume, save and run. Installation is as simple as possible. The first home page helps in finding the right windows to install and useful applications. But since Windows is installed on our PC, we do not need this. Here, by the way, is Windows 11 Pro. Before all actions, go to Settings, select a restore point, set up disk with a protection system and create a restore point. This will fix everything if you suddenly do something bad later. Now we mark the time and start the optimization. Go to the optimization page and click Scan to determine your current system setup. These features with asterisks do not speed up the system at a time, but in the future it plays a role. On the second list I also usually use all the tweaks. The one-time cache flush doesn't turn it on, it's designed that way. But it clears DNS cache. At the bottom there are three settings for SSD. If you have a hard disk drive, do not touch them. Next is the appearance. Look here, read, this is only for convenience. For example, it's convenient to have one drive not in Explorer. And this computer, add a shortcut to the desktop. The context menu switch to classic. Go to the next section services and software. Since the time I made this video, by the way, this section has changed. It even looks different. But it doesn't matter, someone will watch video and the program is already been heavily updated and will generally improve. Here we can block the unnecessary. I don't need antivirus, automatic updates, hibernation, I turn it all off. Antivirus is seriously losing performance, hibernation takes a few gigabytes on the disk and there are only 128 gigabytes here. Telemetry is the function of monitoring the actions of your PC and its diagnostics. This is just losing of computer resources. The program disables something by itself, but you notice that it wants you to go into the settings, privacy and protection and in the subheading Windows permissions to turn off functions. Here you need to go through all the points and turn off what else is included. Sysmain can also be disabled if you have an SSD drive. Let me remind you for more detailed instructions and how to do everything that we do manually. Look at the channel, links in description. Basically these functions are disabled instantly. Only with the antivirus you have to agree to reboot into safe mode and run the program there, so the program performs the necessary actions. The next step is built-in applications. These are mainly those programs that are not removed through the normal uninstall section. The PC and P assistant will remove them through the command line. I advise you to remove them at the moment when you remove the antivirus and the computer has rebooted into safe mode. You will be able to delete more, because not every program wants to delete. Be sure to read the description so as not to delete too much. I don't need the Microsoft Store, Xbox and other programs on this PC, so I delete almost everything that is possible. The program works in such a way that some commands do not work if you delete a lot at once, so make several passes. As a result, out of 108 applications, 54 remained. 
The rest refuse to be removed and require a tougher approach, but we will deal with it in the future. In the meantime, let's go to the next step – programs. Here is the list of programs that you have in the parameters. In the list of programs, you can run the installer from here and remove unnecessary ones, or enter the name of the program or part of it in the search bar and find everything connected with it and delete it. Windows is fresh here and there is nothing unnecessary, everything will come in handy. At this stage I rebooted the PC and we already see that, that it have become empty at the startup. There are few applications, but we can delete more. Go to the All Services tab. Here we can disable Windows services that we do not need but which waste computer resources. If you are a beginner or have little experience with services, click on the attention button, do what it says, and before you disable something, read both the recommendations and description of the service very carefully. Some may greatly affect other PC functions and they will stop working. Make a restore point, you won't regret it. Some subscribers have already had to reinstall Windows because they turned off something without thinking, ok? This program is to save time, not to create problems. One of these dangerous moments is that some services are associated with Windows Hello and a Microsoft account. If you enter Windows with a password or PIN code, the system simply won't start but a restore point will help. Run it from recovery mode or bootable flash drive. If you do not need a password, use my videos on removing the password and installing the system without an account. Go to a local account, remove the password, and then you can safely disable such services. With the help of the filter, you can go through the individual categories of services. When disabled, some security services are disabled. But not all. Here, if desired, you can disable or even block the rest. Blocking prevents them from changing their status on their own after reboot. A lot of services are associated with the store, but not everything should be turned off. Read on. Spy services can be disabled, but the first two in Windows 11 are related to displaying important pop-up menus. These settings will remain available through the options, but still this is not convenient for everyone. We mark in the filter all services that can be disabled and go through them. I need to leave only the Bluetooth I needed, Edge could be also deleted, but I didn't install another browser and I need it for the internet, but it would be possible to replace it with an Opera, it will be more economical. Well, we went through the services, there are a lot of them, so this stage is the longest. There is also a disk cleaner section, you can clean it quite deeply. In my case, Windows is only installed and there is no cache. But in your case, if Windows was installed for a long time, you can clear so much. For now, that's all the PC and PS system can do, but there are more upgrades ahead, such as AutoRun. By the way, I advise you to clean the AutoRun list, I did it too. A simple list is available in Task Manager. We restart the computer and make sure that everything you need is working. And I can start testing. By the way, it's worth saying that the following fact has been verified for years. Licensed Windows, the official assembly, works much more stable than some hacked and redone one. And even if you break something with your actions with the license system, there are much more chances to restore everything. You can activate your Windows at an affordable prices using a digital license purchased on your laptop shop. There are various forms of payment available for customers from all over the world and technical support will help if there are problems. Link in description. And the first test, the most obvious, the task manager. In Windows tasks, there is always movement, so we turn off the internet and wait for a calm, stable state after which we fix the numbers. And we see that before the optimization Windows 11 took 3.6 GB of RAM and there were 153 processes in operation, quite a lot. And now, after optimization with the PC and P Assistant, Windows 11 consumes 1.7 GB and 72 processes are running in the background. It turns out that we got rid of more than half of the processes and they are simply not needed and managed to free up almost 2 GB of RAM. They can be directed to the programs that we will use. 
Now let's see how these changes affect the processor. For tests I like to use the benchmark SignBench R23 the most. There is an error but to suppress it I do test several times and take the highest result. Before the optimization it was 1381 and after the optimization it was 1845. Let's calculate this increase in percentage. This is 133.6% of the performance. Super! To be honest I didn't expect this to increase productivity by 34% this hasn't happened yet. As I said before, optimization works much stronger on weak computer than on powerful one. 34% increase is worth applying. But keep in mind that in this PC I did not do everything, but still quite extreme optimization. Most likely you won't disable so much on your computer, which means that the increase will be less, but it will be noticeable. The third test – games. This time I used N02205 from 2015. It gives a stable picture, loads such a computer well and is easy to install. The test went on medium settings and Full HD resolution. At first this game turned out to be too heavy for this processor and the graphics integrated into it. All the same, a lot of rendering of nature and various effects FPS is about 10, 11, sometimes rises to 15. After optimization the picture is like this. In the same place where it was 10, 11, now 15, 16. This is plus 5 FPS, the same 33% as in the benchmark. This test confirmed the increase, which means that it will be in almost all programs and games that make full use of PC resources. Of course, 16 FPS is not enough to play, you will have to lower the resolution on this mini PC and there will already be 20 FPS or even 30. It seems to be enough. I consider the optimization successful. What do you think? Write in the comments how do you like the acceleration and if you have already used my program, your feedback is very useful. You can use it on your computer. If you do not have a fresh Windows, the results will be bright. You will immediately notice how the computer has become faster. I think it deserves your like. Thank you for watching the Isha. I hope it was useful and informative. See also how all these steps to do manually without additional programs. Watch it in our videos on the channel. See you on there.